Hi, Vince Math. It must be Maths by Amiya. Welcome again to the world of Maths by Amiya. So there is a question in front of you under the geometry daily dose. It is a must try question. It is given you have a quarter circle and a semi circle and a full circle which is tangential. And given the radius of this red circle is one unit, then what is the area of the white portion? It means unshaded area or the area within a quarter circle apart from the full circle and the semi circle. So I would say please pause the video and try to solve this question. So I hope you have paused the video and solved the question. This one is a basic question. The area of unshaded portion is the area of the red circle and the radius of the red circle is 1. So the area of unshaded portion is nothing but pi r square is nothing but pi is the answer of this question. Area of the white portion is the area of red portion for this question and the radius of the red portion is given 1 unit. Pi r square is the area of the red circle which is the area of the white circle. So the answer of this question is nothing but 1 unit and this one is the answer of our question and it would take hardly 2 second time if you know the concept. So I hope it is okay with you. Now you say no, this one is not okay. I want more such outcomes and the proof. So let's take more outcome and the proof. I would say please pause the video and take the screenshot of this moment. If the quarter circle radius is 4R, the semicircle radius is 2R, quite obvious, and this radius is nothing but R. 4, 2, 1 is the ratio of this case. Perfectly fine. And we know the area of white circle is the area of the red circle. So this one is a complete outcome of this figure. Now it's time for the proof. Let's prove the outcomes. Now for the convenience, let's assume this one is nothing but R, no 2R, just assume this one is 4R. 4R is the radius of the quarter circle. Fine. Then the radius of the semicircle is nothing but 2R. Perfectly fine. This one is nothing but 2R. Let's join center to center. So we can say this one is 2R, radius say X. DE is also the radius say X. Join these two. Now go with the dotted line. A to say this point is nothing but G. A to G, AG is nothing but a capital 4R because this one is the radius. DG is nothing but X. So we can say AD is nothing but 4R minus X. We have X, we have 4R minus X. So we can say this one is nothing but 90 degree. And we can find AE by the Pythagoras is under root 4r minus x squared minus x squared which one is nothing but under root 16r squared minus 8rx and minus x squared plus x squared is cancelled out so this one is the value of ae fine drop a perpendicular say this one is dh we know dh is equal to ae this one is dh fine if this one is x, this one is x, from the AF we have 2R. So we can say AH is also x and the HF is nothing but 2R minus x. Again use the Pythagoras triplets in the DHF. DH is nothing but AE is the case. So we can say the square plus HF square is nothing but DF square. Put all the value. DH square is nothing but 16 square minus 8 r x plus h f square is 2 r minus x square equal to d f square is 2 r plus x square. So this one is 16 r square minus 8 r x plus 4 r square minus 4 r x plus x square is equal to 4 r square plus 4 r x plus x square. From here, 4R square, 4R square cancel out, X square, X square cancel out. We have 16R square minus 8RX, 12RX. Comes here, we have 16RX. 16, 16 cancel, RR cancel. So we can say R is equal to X or X is equal to nothing but R. So we proved R one outcome. If the radius of the bigger quarter circle is 4R, then this would be the 2R, that is half and this red circle is nothing but r so 4 is to 2 is to 1 is the radius ratio so we just proved our first outcome that is the ratio of the radius 4 to 1 now prove the area of white is equal to area of red as we know the radius is 4r 
semi circular radius is 2r its radius is r so the area of white portion is quarter circle minus semi circle minus full circle the area of quarter circle is 1 by 4 pi of the radius square is nothing but 4r square minus semi circle is nothing but 1 by 2 pi r square which one is 2r square minus pi r square because these are the radius this one is capital r so this one is 16 divided by 4 is 4 pi r square minus 4 divided by 2 is 2 pi r square minus pi r square so we can say this one is nothing but pi r square which one is the area of the red circle pi r square so we prove the area of white circle is equal to area of red circle so these two are the outcomes one is the radius ratio and one is the area of white is equal to area of red are two important outcomes of this figure so i hope it is okay if you have any doubt i would say rewind the video and watch it again now everything is okay i would say please solve the homework the homework is quite easy the radius of the quadrant is 12 unit then what is the area of the white unshaded portion if the radius of the quarter circle is 12 unit then what is the area of the white portion for this question and this figure so today we have a great learning if you like the concept i would say must subscribe the channel press the bell icon and share among your friends stay tuned with us for such more learnings and i would say all the best god bless you and happy learning once again bye bye